In this video, we'll learn how health professionals use the Body Health Analyzer to take health assessment tests for their clients before and after their specific procedures like therapies or treatments. The Body Health Analyzer provides a special testing procedure for quick health assessment based on short-term heart rate variability analysis taken before and after your specific therapies like massage, hypnosis, or any other procedures which may change the status of the autonomic function. During a pre or post test, you will record the client's heart rhythm for five minutes using a special wireless finger sensor. If your treatment protocol is tight on time, you may use a shorter two minute test option. The software will process a captured pulse signal to measure heartbeat intervals and then run a special HRV analysis algorithm. When both pre and post tests are complete, you will get the results providing the information about the client's vital signs, general health, stress and adaptation, and much more before and after the procedure and show the changes happening to each measured metric. Let's learn how to take a new pre-post assessment. Here's a list of all client cards stored in the system. Before we go for a test, let's make sure the pre-post testing mode is enabled in the BHA software. Click Configuration to open up the program settings. Make sure that Enable Pre-Post Testing is set. If your testing schedule is really tight, set Use 2-Minute Pre-Post Testing. This will save a few minutes on each testing procedure. However, some restrictions on obtaining specific test results will take place because certain metrics require a minimum of 5 minutes of recording to be estimated. Click Save Now. Now open the client's record by double-clicking on the client's card. Now we see the dashboard screen showing the most recent test results. Next, have the client seated comfortably and remain sitting for a couple of minutes to stabilize the heart rhythm. Instruct the client to limit body movements and not to talk during the test. Put the sensor clip on the client's index finger, press the button on the sensor, and wait until the sensor display begins showing the client's pulse rate and SpO2 readings. Next, click the Test button and select Health Test Pre-Post from the drop-down menu. Click Take a Test Before the Procedure. It will take a few seconds for the BHA to connect to the sensor. Now we see a live test screen. The bottom graph shows a pulse signal. If the sensor is placed correctly, the signal shows smooth periodic waves. The top graph shows the heart rate changes. Instantaneous heart rate and SpO2 values are displayed on the right. The software automatically analyzes measured data and indicates its quality as a colored square. Green means the data is clean and good to record. Yellow means there are some minor disturbances happening, but it's still good to record. If it's red, there's too many disturbances in the recorded data, so the test should be aborted. Once you see that measured data is good, click Start Recording. Now a new test begins. A test countdown timer is displayed on the right. If anything happens during the test recording that makes data not acceptable, you can stop the current test and start a new one by clicking Restart. If for any reason the current test may not be continued, just click Abort to stop the test and leave. Once the test is over, the system automatically stops it and brings up this message. Click Continue to preview the new test results. This is a standard health test report. It shows the new test results on four different pages. General health, stress and adaptation, vital signs, and heart rate graph. You can open them by clicking the respective icons. We'll review the report details after we complete the second post test. Now, just click Save to save the pre-test results in the client record. Now it's time to do your treatment procedure, whatever that may be. Once your treatment procedure is over, have the client seated comfortably again and remain sitting for a couple of minutes to stabilize the heart rhythm. Instruct the client to limit body movements and not to talk during the test. Put the sensor clip on the client's index finger, press the button on the sensor, and wait until the sensor display begins showing the client's pulse rate and SpO2 readings. Open the client's dashboard screen in the BHA again. Next, click the Test button and select Health Test Pre-Post from the drop-down menu. Click Take a Test After the Procedure. It will take a few seconds for the BHA to connect to the sensor. Complete the testing procedure in the same way as it was done before. 
Now the second test is done and we have a post-test report consisting of four pages. The general health page shows the following results. Stress index, an important health metric reflecting how much the client is actually stressed. Autonomic balance indicates the balance between the sympathetic and parasympathetic branches of the autonomic nervous system. HRV index is one of the key heart rate variability metrics reflecting overall health. When it's too low, this could be a sign of health problems. Vagal index is another important health metric showing the level of activity of the vagus nerve, which plays a key role in the proper functioning of all internal organs of our bodies. The stress and adaptation page shows the following results. Adaptation strain, which reflects the intensity of activity of the body's regulatory mechanisms to adapt to various negative factors and maintain its homeostasis. Many chronic illnesses are associated with chronic stress, which disturbs the homeostasis and activates these mechanisms to restore it. So, the stronger the chronic stress, the more efforts are taken to adapt. Adaptation resource reflects the amount of the body's resources available for its efforts to restore the homeostasis. Healthy organisms have high levels of resources for efficient adaptation. Chronic stress causes the body to spend these resources in a continued effort to adapt and retain its homeostasis. Adaptation index is a product of a complex relationship between the adaptation strain and adaptation resource. It reflects the current state of the adaptation mechanisms of the body, which could be one of these four states. Normal adaptation, strained adaptation, disadaptation, and adaptation failure. Stress index is also shown on this page. However, if you ran two-minute tests, the three adaptation variables give more coarse results than in a five-minute test, so just keep that in mind. The vital signs page shows the following results. Resting heart rate, which indicates an overall state of the cardiovascular system at health. Resting heart rate, it indicates an overall state of the cardiovascular system at rest. SpO2 shows the level of blood oxygenation. Decreased SpO2 readings typically indicate cardiorespiratory problems and may serve as a strong sign to seek medical help. The heart rate graph page shows the details on the heart rate recorded during the test. Overall test data quality is shown here as acceptable with the green icon, or it could be not acceptable if it was red. Sometimes it's helpful to write some important comments associated with a particular test. Click comment to bring up a special entry box. Enter your test comments here and click save. Finally, click save to save the new test results in the client record. They are now placed on the client dashboard. That finalizes taking a new pre-post health test. Thank you for watching this video.